here with head coach Brandon Duvall. 2011 NSU volleyball season is just around the corner, a few days away now. And coach, I mean, are you guys ready for the season to start? I mean, there's only a few more days of practice to get in, and then you're getting right into it now. I feel like it's been a rush. Uh, we, you know, we just have felt like they just reported, and um, we've had two very good weeks of uh, preseason. Um, you can tell some of the girls were just getting their college legs back, and mm -hmm. and really. Uh, no, but I think they came in in great condition. Um, I feel like we're stronger than we've ever been at this point in the season. And uh, the attitude is fantastic. And then now we've been solely focused on our task at hand, which is going up to Hempstead this weekend to play Hofstra, Radford, and Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And it should be great. should be very exciting matches and a good opportunity for a lot of these girls who uh, may have to start as freshmen. Mm -hmm. And last year you guys had a good season, you know, you had 13 wins, you were 5-3 and three in the MEAC. Neither of those had ever been done before, at least in the Division One era. Mm -hmm. After the season, you know, coming into the spring practice and then coming into here in the fall practice, what did you feel like you guys need to do to really build off of that season and do even better this year? Um, we just needed to become uh, more aware of what the level is like at, mm -hmm. at Division One, you know, and no, uh, not to discredit anything in previous years in Norfolk State, but you know the attitude of this program has became that we, we need to win a championship. It's time for us. We've had this program for a long, long time. A lot of great players have come, come and gone through this program, and now it's time for us to emerge as a contender, and not just in the MEAC, but we're expected to go play in the NCAA tournament as well. Um, you know, so when we were recruiting, we were looking for players who at least had an idea. Now, nobody truly understands what it's like until you get there. Mm -hmm. um, but when, you know, people who knew what work ethic was like and the attitude that we needed and, and, um, and then, of course, trying to fill our size need. We got a little bigger this year, which is good and, mm -hmm. and uh, definitely a lot stronger. You're talking about the size. You brought in you know, six two, six foot, uh, five eleven. I think even maybe like a five ten. Mm -hmm. We I mean, just talk about what that's like now. You guys really got a lot more size. Plus, you had Jasmine and Charlotte back, and both of them are six foot as well. Right. Um, you know, we did very well. I thought at the net last year. I thought we were pretty explosive. I just don't think we had the size presence that we had. Mm -hmm. I feel like teams um, were challenging our block quite a bit. And even though I thought we were decently successful, I think at this level, um, you got to have a big presence at the net. And we've always focused on our defense, um, but not on the blocking aspect, more of the backcourt defense. So along with our uh, talented back row players, and we've added to that as well, in addition to Noel returning, now we have a big presence at the net that allows us to um, hopefully block a few more balls. And then if anything does go through the block, we have a plenty of talented defensive players to be able to pick that ball up. Do you think that was the biggest key um, from last season to this season um, for you guys to be better was just having more blocking? Yeah, I think I think defense. I mean, I'm a defense kind of guy. Like I, I think defense is the most exciting part of the game. And as much as we want to see our girls go up and rip at a ball and, and really have a great presence offensively, I think you can kind of control the, uh, the pace of the game, you know, with a good big block and kind of dictate how the offense is going to be run. And, and um, you know, like I said, with Noel and then now with Tracy back, um, Megan, I mean, you, Paige, you can name a lot of girls. You know, we have plenty of people who can fill in the backcourt positions like we were last year. And I thought we were very strong defensively last year on the backcourt. Now I think we complemented that with our with our frontcourt this year. And you just mentioned it too, having all these fun, um you know, a bunch of players now up front that you can put up there, mm -hmm. a bunch of backcourt defenders. Your depth now this year is better than it's been in <laughs> over 10 years here. I mean, that's got to be, for you guys, you got to be very pleased with the depth now you can throw out there as well. Well, I think that helps us in practice, um, you know, where we have, uh, not that nobody's safe. I mean, we, we want to get some sort of consistency in our lineup, of course, and I think uh, the girls really enjoy the competition aspect of it. But everyone knows that, you know, you got to fight every single day in practice. You've got to come in with the attitude that, you know, this is my position, um, I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to earn earn my reputation in this position nonstop. So, where I think last year we had a few girls where we weren't in positions that we weren't really, really deep in like we are this year. Mm -hmm. um, practices have been great because of that. I mean, we have plenty of girls who can even change positions. We have a, a lot of people, so many people have played middle in the past, so yeah. there are people that can fill in the middle position, right side, outside, back row, um, you know, and 
think with uh, the, the change in our setting, we even have a girl who we were looking at mainly as a defender, and now she's coming in and setting extremely well. So, you know, the sky's the limit for us. I it think. gives you a lot more options now. You have yep. that depth. And then obviously this year, the biggest thing too is the fact that you're going into the MEAC Northern Division. Mm -hmm. um, they added Savannah State, North Carolina Central, and that bumped you guys up to the north. Right. Is that something you're looking forward to? You kind of wish you were still in the south? I mean, where's... Um, that's a great question. Uh, we, we wish we were in the south because we'd love to get that crack at, at Florida A&M twice. Mm -hmm. um, not to say they were our biggest rivals, but they've been the king of the conference for so long until last year. But yeah. I mean, they're still one of the teams to beat. Obviously, they've, they've built their reputation over so many years. We'd love to be able to get a, a look at them twice in one year. And then, you know, there's some other decent teams down there. But we know the, the North from top to bottom is a little bit more uh, consistent than the, than the South. Yeah. So going into that, we had to be better. I mean, we have to be better right now going into the North because you've got Delaware State, who obviously has been a top contender every year. UMES has always won the North, it seems like. Mm -hmm. You know, Hampton's rebuilt every year. Um, you know, with, with the change in coaching at Cop, and I mean, you name it, every, there's a reason to, uh, to be a little nervous going into the North, but I, I'm enjoying the level of competition that we've had in our own gym, and we're definitely anticipating what it would be like to be able to compete against these teams when, when time comes.